Hello guys, welcome to the first lecture in this course that promises to teach you how to build a complete and functional ride sharing application like Uber. So the first step to building every green application is to creating the project. So we're going to go ahead and create our project. So before now, I expect that you have Visual Studio for Mac installed on your computer. So what I have installed on my Mac is the 2019 version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new to create a new project. So we're going to go ahead and select the iOS templates. So what we see here are different templates of applications that we can build using our Visual Studio for Mac. So what we intend to build is an iOS application. So we're going to go ahead and select single view app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. So we need to provide the app name, which in this regard is going to be Uber Rider. So you need to provide your organization identifier. So my organization identifier is com.uphoenix, which is something very unique to me. So after providing the organization identifier, we now have our bundle identifier. So the bundle identifier, it's more like the ID for our app on the App Store. That is when we publish our app on the App Store. So the next thing of interest is team. So we're not going to be talking about the team for now. So let's go ahead and choose supported devices. So we can support an iPad or an iPhone, but for now we want to just keep it iPhone. Now the next thing we need to select will be the minimum iOS version. So currently the latest iOS version is 13.1, which I'm very sure is going to change eventually. But we probably might want to support earlier versions of iOS, so we can easily drop this down and select 12.4 or any other iOS version that we want to support. So 12.4 is probably good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. All right. So this is where our project is going to be saved. So this is the local part on my computer. So we need to select this, create a project directory within the solution directory. So we're going to select this. So if we want to make use of version control like JIT, you can check this, but we're not going to be concerned ourselves with this for now. So if you want to do UI tests, you can select this, but this is not our area of interest for now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on create to create the project. Alright, so our project is being created. So this is the first thing that we're going to see when we create our project. So we're going to go ahead and click on open storyboard designer. So the storyboard designer, it's more like an interface that allows us to design different pages that we're going to have in our app. So the designer is loading up. Okay, so our storyboard has successfully loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Okay, so currently we have only one page in our storyboard designer. And this page is called a view controller. So just like the name goes, the view controller is responsible for the different pages that we have or we are going to have in our app. So each of these view controller allows us to make our designs and just create the interface of our app. So in the next lecture, we're going to go ahead and start designing our interfaces. See you in the next class.